What's happening guys? Welcome to another episode of Natty News Daily and I've got a pretty interesting story for you guys today. So I was messaged by a guy last night and he informed me that right now we have two natural bodybuilders in the point standing for the Mr. Olympia, which is crazy um, to think that there's there's some natural guys that are in the standing for, for the Mr. O. So uh, just to, to give you guys some kind of background information on how to qualify for the Miss Olympia if you guys don't know. So from my understanding, there's three ways you can qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Number one is you're the current or previous Mr. Olympia. So if you've won the Mr. Olympia before, or if you're currently the Mr. Olympia, then you are automatically qualified for the next year's competition uh, moving forward, obviously. The Sean Roden situation kind of kiboshed that, even though he is a uh, previous Mr. Olympia, he's he's not qualified, but um, you take someone like Brandon Curry, who's currently the Mr. Olympia, he would aut automatically be qualified. And, you know, we take someone like Dexter Jackson, who won it in 2008, he's obviously qualified as well. Then, uh, down from that, if you win a pro show in the calendar year, you are qualified for the Mr. Olympia. Um, so that's a lot of guys, how they punch the ticket to the Mr. Olympia is they try to win these pro shows. So you take, for example, here in Canada, the Toronto Pro um, or the Vancouver Pro. Then in the States, you know, you have the New York Pro, stuff like that. So you can qualify for that. So there's all kinds of pro shows all around the world that guys can qualify in and uh, and then move on to the Mr. Olympia. And then the next one, which is what applies to this video, is you can qualify in points. So I don't exactly know what points they dish out per show. I do believe there are different uh, tiers for shows to get points. So if you win or place in one show, you may get more points than another, depending on the show. So take that into consideration. And a lot of athletes do uh, choose to compete in certain shows that are going to award them more points depending on how they place. But I do believe it's the top three in the point standings that can then move you on to the Mr. Olympia. So right now they have 16 athletes in points. Obviously things are all over the place with the current global situation. So athletes are trying to figure out what they're going to do for qualifications if there are no shows to compete in to get points. Obviously shows have been canceled or postponed. So that kind of wrecks the chances of guys getting points. Anyways, so looking at the schedule and the, the lineup of athletes that are in the point standings, you're going to see two names, Han Jin Choi and Peter Boncardo. Those two are natural athletes, supposedly, and are in the point standings for the Mr. Olympia. So Han Jin Choi, he's from South Korea. He's ninth with five points. He won his pro card in the overall, so he took the overall at the Natural Canada's last year um, and actually did the Ben Weeder Pro Show, which right now is, from my understanding, the only natural IFBB Pro Show, which they do test. I do believe they do test, so uh, for, I do believe he would have been tested from, from winning. Um, but anyway, so he won his pro card uh, at the Natural Canada's and then went on to the Ben Weeder Pro Show and won that as well. So he's in ninth with five points as a natural competitor from South Korea. And I do believe I remember reading that he's the first Korean IFBB Pro, uh, which is super exciting. I could be wrong on that, but I do remember reading that at one point. So, you know, congrats to him for sure. And then Peter is the one that messaged me and told me this stuff. So he's... Uh, from here in Canada, he's in 10th just behind Han with four points, and he won the, the overall at the Natural Canada's in the Masters class where he had won his pro card. So both of these guys are supposedly natural, which is awesome. Uh, I'm super excited to hear that, and it's it's pretty cool for them to be in the point standing for the Mr. Olympia. Obviously, being natural um, definitely puts you at a disadvantage against um, the guys that are enhanced you know, there are some genetic freaks out there. I mean, you take Han, for example, he's got an amazing physique if he's for sure natural, amazing physique on him and definitely could be, you know, not looking too out of place up there. I would definitely not pencil him in for, for a top placing, but uh, to be on that stage, to be in the Mr. Olympia as a natural competitor, that's awesome. Um, same for Peter, you know, for, for a master's athlete to, to be in the point standings for the Mr. Olympia as a natural, that's, that's super impressive. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, obviously, this can change once more shows get, you know, scheduled and stuff like that, and more athletes are getting points. 
then you know these guys could potentially move down the list. Um, and if I am correct in the top three getting points, then these guys aren't actually qualified for the Mr. Olympia, but they are in the point standings. So if they competed and racked up more points, then obviously they could, in theory, compete at the Mr. Olympia this year uh, should that show go on and, uh, you know, be up there fighting for the win. So super cool. Just wanted to, to talk about that because it's, it's pretty neat to see that, uh, you know, some natural guys are working up the ranks in the open stream at the highest level, right? The Mr. Olympia is the, the top the top show right that's the one that everybody wants to win in the in the ifbb so it's very impressive and, and very exciting if you want to follow those guys um han's account is ifbb pro underscore big choy and uh peters is at nomad warrior underscore ifbb pro so you can follow those two guys and uh stay up to date with what they're doing and yeah pretty impressive uh, regan grimes is also from canada from here in Canada, and he's on the point standing as well. Um, not natural though, so uh, you know it doesn't necessarily apply to this video. But of course, uh, I'm I'm a big fan of Regan's. I think he's got an amazing physique on him, and he's done very well for himself. So very excited to see. You know, hopefully he can get up to the to the Mister O this year and get some more points. But again, like I've mentioned earlier in the video, everything's up in the air as far as when shows are going to go on, how guys are going to be able to get points. To qualify and then you know whether the mr olympia allows some special invites or what they're going to do exactly because you know everything's all over the map with uh the global situation right now so anyways pretty cool two natural guys in the point standings for the mr olympia 2020 pretty damn cool thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one